Good morning, tank friends. This is a bit of a kind of cheat video, I guess, because it's actually a replay rather than a live game. Normally, I just record live games rather than buying back replays. But this was a game in the VK3002 that actually sort of went, apart from obviously that bit there where the FE304 just decides just, just to end it, which is, you know, fair enough. We probably looked at our win rate and went, mm, not a chance now. But I thought this is actually not a bad game, and I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll keep this replay and I'll put it up rather than trying to record a live game. I'll still do some live recording today, but this was a game from yesterday that I was playing a lot on my sort of uh, on, on the other computer, which doesn't do such a good job of running open broadcaster software at the same time as running a lot of tanks. But fortunately, thanks to the miracle of replays, we can actually look at the good old VK3002M. I'm going to take. I'm, I'm also going to take back a lot of the things that I said about it. I think this this tank is really starting to to do it for me. Or rather, I've had some games in it where things have just gone really well. And some of it is going to be down to, obviously, you know, like, the luck of the draw is, is going to come into it. But other things, I'm starting to suppose, hey, how crazy thick is that armor on the turret? It's beggar's belief just how many shots you can bounce off that thing. Uh, the gun is... If you can sort of work as kind of like a sniper, it is such a good tank to play. I'm really, I think this might be the first German tank that I've gone. You know what? I'm enjoying this. And I shouldn't be that far off getting the, the tier two. What's it called? Engine, tier two engine. I've watched them call it. You know, the thing that makes it move. Now, obviously, if I have more games where I get to basically shoot fish in a barrel. That would be nice. That would certainly speed up things a little. But, as you can see in the minimap, things aren't exactly going well on the kind of overall sort of strategic level. We had to sort of... I suppose you can call it a returns fact. I mean, we were down at the start. We had to... Oh yeah, here's your thing. Mark, remember, what you need to buy are the pen. Because sitting here in the open with the tracks down, you basically only live because the enemy team are inaccurate and you've got allies that you know have your back. But yes, anyway, so part of the problem that we had here was the refused flank sort of tactic didn't really work. Now, honestly, I go like this strategy seems to go. If you, if everyone kind of commits and pushes hard and fast, then you're going to do well. But I think we had some people go on the right, and they died just because you know you're going to die. If most of your team has gone one way and you're gone, you've gone the other, and you don't play very carefully and very defensively. Was that here? I didn't realise when I played this game that I parked in front of a headset. Okay, that was something I need to work on. Pay more attention to where the headset are. So things are going to take things I should take away from this game. Pay more pay more attention to who's where. To be fair, look at this camouflage. It's hard to spot. It's hard to spot a camouflage dude, isn't it? That's, that's my excuse. Let's stick to it. And here, I think I was just happy to get some crits. I didn't really... I could have been more aggressive, but I think I had... I think in my mind, I saw that there were other tanks, like friendly tanks, on that side of the river. I thought, you know, they're probably going to be okay. Maybe also at this point considered. So I can I swim? Can I swim across that? Now, obviously, I've got four kills to my name. I'm going to start feeling pretty confident at this point, and that is always the mistake I make. Five kills, I'm, I'm basically feeling like I'm an indestructible monster. 
I forget that I've only got 147 hit points that my traps are damaged, my gas engine fuel tank thing open. Yeah, fuel tank is leaking. And I go, yeah, it's time for me to take on the ARL44, who's got far more hit points than I have, and is in the most good state. But he's not looking at me, so I put a shot, which I swear I accidentally ricochet off of the corpse of an enemy tank. I swear that's what happens, and then he shoots me. I die. And I realise we're not actually in a very strong position. We've lost all our SPG support. Our Hex is, you know, up front helping with the fight. The Hellcat is, you know, doing what Hellcats do shoot, move, shoot, move. And it's it's not good. It's not a good situation to be in. But he's going to try his best. The team doesn't give up. And I mean, I've at this point already, you know, picked up my cup of tea and got mistakes were made. There's my goals. Just to remind me. And it's T34, 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 Hopefully, I was thinking he can do some damage. I mean, if my brain went, you know, if you can take out, what was it? Yeah, the Type 58 and then E2. Mm, you might be able to sneak up on the artillery and get a kill. I sort of know whereabouts they are. But, <clears throat> they also know where he is. You can see by... Now that shot actually confused me, because I, when I saw that happen the first time, I thought, you know, that couldn't have been right. The Hellcat shouldn't have been... I, I couldn't see the angle that the Hellcat hit the guy at. But now we're thinking about it. So it's not, you know, it's not that unusual. And this poor guy is taking it hard for the team. He's paying for our mistake. Sorry, chap. Sorry, sir. Fish. Okay. You died for our sins. Beep, beep. <laughs>